Sean Myers, and I'm now joined by the head coach of the Norway Knights softball program, Brian Message, as his team embarks on the 6A postseason. And first off, Brian, another great regular season. That's become uh, kind of the norm at Norwin in recent years. What stood out about this year's regular season for your squad? Uh, what stood out was probably that we didn't know which way we were going to – I knew we had some pieces back, um, but filling in the other pieces was, was the key uh, kind of cog in the wheel, so to speak. Um, we, you know, we lost uh, a couple key players, we lost key pitcher, uh, and, and Pepe, um, and then Alyssa's filled in, you know, it's done, you know, I always call her, she's the warrior on the mound. Um, she's kind of done everything, uh, that she can do. And she's kind of kept her body in shape and all those things there to kind of make this run for sure. Yeah. Alyssa McCormick has been a good pitcher. She's also been an incredible hitter for you. And I know that has been the strength for much of the year was how good your lineup was. Not just two or three different girls, but really some depth through through one through nine. What has allowed this team to be so good offensively against even some of the best teams in all of the WPIAL? Our success in the, over the years, uh, obviously the long ball has been a benefit for us. Um, and But basically trying to hit the ball square, uh, hit the ball hard. Uh, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a, uh, you know, we got some baseball guys with us this year that you know exit velocity and all that stuff. Um, just just putting the ball in play is the key for us. Um, how uh, it has changed each game; it's somebody different. Um, so, like I said, our solid one through five, and then when a six, seven, and eight, and nine hitters contribute, that's when you do well. Uh, we have scored a lot of runs, given up a lot of runs, um, but you know the, the factors of uh, putting the ball in play when we need to, and then kind of getting a big, big hit in key moments. You know, this like kind of hit one against Hemphill that was, you know, bases loaded. Uh, one of the, you know, our grand slam. So like key moments there. Hopefully, we can kind of do that uh, when it counts the most here in the playoffs. Well, you talked about the victory against Hemphill, and I know that Hemphill's head coach Tina Madison said that Bailey Snowberger might be the toughest out of all the players that she has seen in the entire WPIAL. She's a special player offensively and defensively. How does she make everything go for your squad? Uh, well, I always, you know, say we're, <laughs> if she gets on, we have a chance to win the game. Um, she is the catalyst both uh, behind, you know, at the plate and on in the field. Um, she's, like I said, a game changer many times against uh, North Allegheny. It was a game-changing diving play. Uh, that saved, you know, kind of sparked us to get some energy and uh, come back to beat them the first time we played them. Um, but yeah, she's. Uh, I uh, I I still play through her, believe it or not. Um, the closest player um, that comes with, you know, Bailey's all around five tool kind of play is uh, Haley Colbertson. Um, and like I said, if I put in, uh, Bailey with Colby, um, that means a lot. When uh, when the committee gets together to decide the playoff seedings, they do a great job and a lot of work, but they didn't have to do much work at all in 6A. It's very straightforward. There's just six teams in it, and obviously it's based on the one section standing. So one and two get buys. You finish as the number three team and go against number six, Cannon McMillan. Does it make a massive difference that you weren't able to get one of those buys uh, to the semifinals, in your opinion? Uh <laughs> The best way I'm going to kind of answer this, I guess, I mean, it's already kind of, you know, we play three games in our section now. So, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. It's hard going a week without playing. Um, and I think that was part of our, you know, we had, you know, eight days off before we played a game um, because we were actually ahead of the curve with all the teams. We didn't get games. We didn't lose games. We played uh, Pine Richland Thursday instead of Friday. Um, and then we had that big rain rain event that kind of, you know, we were off that Monday. So postponing things. So I'm OK, you know, so it would have been nice, you know, like I said, to try to win that, you know, nice to, you know, at least tie for the section. Um, but finishing second, we would have still been off for a week. So I'm OK playing this week. So I'm OK where we're at. And you're going against the team. Obviously, it's all familiarity now in 6A because every team oh, is my. another. Yeah. The, yeah, big, so, the big Max or team you're familiar with, what's going to be key yep. to have success? Uh, we just got to kind of do our thing. Um, try to play it clean in the field, not have a lot of walks, and hit the ball. 
we can do those three simple things and then obviously have the energy. Um, and then that's the, the key to, you know, you know, staying hot at the right time and kind of keeping, keeping it simple. Um, and that, that's a big thing. You know, I try to kind of handle it, you know, pressure is only pressure if you allow it to be pressure. Um, and hopefully, um, you know, it's just in the moment, enjoy that. I'm kind of excited about playing at uh, gateway. Um, because I do do turfing in the summer. We I help put that new field in. It's it's beautiful. Um, so uh, that that's kind of one of those things where it's going to be, uh, you know, one game a week, and then we're trying to get some scrimmages in there. That's that's the hard part with, you know, the way our you know we're we're speeding up to slow down, kind of so to speak. You know, we have got to get everything get in, every get get everything in, and then we're just playing one game a week. That's just kind of it's going to be tough. tough. Lastly, I know that uh, with the great success that your team has had the last several seasons, the expectations are probably pretty high. What do you consider a successful run from this point forward? Uh, I, I obviously I want to win Whitfields. That, that's always been my goal as a coach. Uh, we've gotten a couple section titles. Um, I want to get you know get to the finals and get the state. So those those three things, you know, try to get at least two wins. Um, and then try to make the third one happen. But, you know, you got to start with the first one. Um, so, yeah, so try to get to the finals, um, win it, and then get to states and see what happens. Well, Brian, uh, congrats on another great regular season and good luck this postseason. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it.